Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. I'm filming this as a very short preface. Um, I, I've already filmed a, a video, it's a video review of an antenna. Stay tuned, it's, it's a dynamite antenna, but there's an antenna review and then there are two videos uh, at the end to show it in action. The first one is before sunset to really show what you can hear before sunset. Um, and the second one, the first one's about two minutes, the second's about three and a half. Second one is after sunset, it's during uh, a contest or an amateur radio operating event, and there are a lot of stations on, so it really shows it, uh, giving it a workout. So what I'm telling you is don't cut out too early. The last three and a half minutes really show the antenna in action. So short preface, just wanted to let you know what's on the video. Hope you enjoy it. Take care. Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. I've got another amateur radio video, and this is a, a product review, and it's my favorite antenna. This is a review of the Butternut HF2V. Uh, it's a, uh, ent a vertical antenna right behind me for the 40 and 80 meter amateur radio bands. Um, Butternut produces it. It can handle... Uh, a kilowatt and a half. Now, I don't. I don't have any of that. But uh, if you watch this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the antenna, and then I'm going to take you inside and some video I shot last February during the ARRL uh, CWDX contest. This thing was just a killer. Uh, I almost got DXCC on 40 meters. Um, this is my 40 meter antenna. Um, when I talk about it. I will talk about 40 meters. The 80 meter portion of it, not so good. Okay, this is a, maybe I can back up a little bit here. Um, it's hard to get everything. Let me see if I can show you. It's a 32 foot vertical. It is a killer on 40 meters because it's only 32 feet. It's a bit of a compromise on 80 meters. Now on 80 meters, I've got a 72 foot uh, vertical, and that's a killer on 80. This one I'm primarily gonna talk about 40 meters, but 32 feet tall, um, it is, let me, let me back up and talk while I, uh, while I film here. Swing this around, 32 feet tall, um, 10 pounds is the antenna, 2.9 square feet, it handles a lot of wind. Uh, I'm, as you can tell from my location, I am the highest spot for six miles around here, so I get a lot of wind out here, but 2.9 square feet of wind load. Um, it comes with, let me show you here, what it comes with. It comes with a two foot, the two foot pipe uh, there that you see uh, clamped on that's the two foot base piece. Then there's an insulator uh, that separates the vertical portion from uh, the, the base, which will be the ground portion uh, that goes to the ground plate. And then there's several sections that uh, come together, little screws and uh, or nuts that put it together. Let me see if I can count while I'm looking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, looks like nine sections uh, vertical. So uh, there's coils for 40 and 80, the larger coil uh, for 80 meters. Um, there's a capacitor there and then uh, the smaller coil is for 40 meters. You tap the coil to short it out and uh, it helps with uh, finding the uh, minimum SWR and then down at the base, there is this coil that uh, uh, to get the optimum SWR, you can stretch it or uh, pull it apart uh, to take your readings on uh, SWR and uh, you can tune it right up. It's the entire band of 40 meters is under 2.1. Uh, 80 meters is a lot smaller. It's about 60 KC on uh, 80 meters. Now I've got uh, a couple wires coming down from here uh, down to a radio plate. Now this is the DX Engineering radio plate. Um, to mount this, here's what I did. 
I took a five foot pipe and I pounded that into the ground. There's about a foot and a half out of the ground. I mounted um, another DX engineering plate on here and that holds the vertical itself. You could mount this, they talk about mounting this butternut vertical right in the ground. For me with the wind up here, I needed something more secure than just this two foot pipe in the ground. Um, I think it, it, it wouldn't hold it as well. So putting that uh, probably four feet into the ground um, and then putting a radial plate underneath it uh, really secures this. This has been up for five years and has been um, hasn't moved at all. I mean, I get quite a bit of wind and she bends. Now, uh, they, Butternut talks about a minimum of 12 radials. I've got this DX engineering plate. I'll put all the part numbers down below. Um, and I've got the radials for 40 meters. As you can see, I've got a bunch of them. Um, I've got 60. Butternut talks about having 12. Let me spin you around. Um, Butternut talks about having 12 radials and, uh, whoops, sorry, uh, as a minimum. I have run this in the past. I, this is probably my third HF2V. Um, back in a suburban location, I ran, I think, with eight uh, radials that were 75 feet uh, and they covered both 40 and 80. Um, I've got this set for 40 meters. So what I did is took the radials, I mowed the lawn really short uh, in a circular area going out about 35 feet. I then, uh, I mean, I mowed it really short and got rid of all the grass. Um, then I laid out the radials uh, in a circular pattern. So they were exactly out, all 60 of them. Uh, and then I stapled them in the ground using ground staples. Again, I'll, I'll put the part number uh, down below for the radials and the staples. I then fertilized and let the grass grow. And then since it was stapled down, just mowed over the top and over time now, there's been enough grass that the radials are underground, probably half inch to an inch down underground. So works great. Um, 60 radials is a killer, absolute killer. Um, as you'll see in the at the end of this video, uh, DX is loud way before sunset here. Uh, I'm in Minnesota. Now we're up, it's a tough path sometimes to Europe. Um, just, we gotta go through the auroral oval at times and this thing still is a killer. Great signals before sun, uh, sunset. And then if I'm looking for uh, Japan or uh, uh, VK, the Oceana, um, I've got signals well past sunrise. Uh, so it's great. The more radials you can put out, the better. Um, it, they say a 12 minimum radial. If you can get out 60, if you can get out you know, half that, go for as many as you can. That radial plate is awesome. Uh, so I'll put that down below. But the performance you're gonna see on the video uh, is with the HF2V on 40 meters with 60 radials underneath it, uh, just out out in the middle of nowhere, no pre-amplifiers or any of that, but uh, 60 radials, putting it together, construction, very straightforward, very easy, tuning it up, again moving uh, for 40 meters, again uh, moving this coil, uh, stretching the coil or, or bringing it down a little bit to get SWR easy, uh, and then tuning up uh, compressing or pulling this uh, coil, uh, again, really easy. So um, I think it's about 650 bucks for the antenna. It lasts a long time. It's a killer. Um, a D I, I like working DX. I also like uh, uh, working contests, uh, whether it's domestic like sweepstakes or uh, international like uh, a DX contest. This thing get, puts out a killer signal in all directions. So uh, again, 100 watts and uh, I had almost a DXCC in the contest. So let, let's go inside. Um, I'm not gonna put any more comments. Uh, after the video, you're gonna see what the result, but the HF2V butternut vertical um, 
I think it's the best antenna you can have for 40 meters. I've never had a beam, but watch the video now. There's two pieces of it, one uh, right with DX before sunset, and then tuning the band after sunset, you will hear the signals. Uh, an absolute DX killer. So um, if you got questions, put them down below. Uh, if you've got observations on the HF2V, put them down below. I'd love to hear your observations. But this thing gets, you know, four thumbs up from me. Uh, it's been my 40 meter antenna for, I don't know, decades, and it is a killer. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, again, if you got comments, put them down below. But the Butternut HF2V, two thumbs up. Check out the uh, on air video coming up right now. Let's give this a little look. That's OE8 DDX uh, from uh, Austria. This is a uh, half an hour before my sunset. And let's so this pile up here here we go now these are bigger stations obviously but that's uh, 9A5Y from Croatia so this just gives you a little feel for uh, for how well this antenna receives um, signals are let's swing this around signals are whoa got the zoom on sorry about that um, signals are pretty darn loud on this antenna quite often it, this is really a performer on 40 meters um, I'm getting ready for the contest so maybe I'll film a little bit more later and just bounce up and down the band and show you what it is but uh, for a contest, uh, this thing works great. Th th that's two signals from Europe. It is uh, about an hour before the contest starts, so or an hour before sunset, and they're they're already that loud. So I think it'll be a good contest. But this antenna is a real performer. So I might be back with some more uh, signals just to show you. But there's two from Europe that uh, show you what this uh, HF2V does on 40 meters. Uh, it's gangbusters uh, from my place. I'm gonna run you through the. 40 meter band. Just so you can get a good feel for the uh, antenna. That's uh, Delta Charlie 4 Alpha from Germany. Nine A five Y from uh, uh, Croatia. IO0A from Italy. YT7A from Serbia. II9P from Italy. IO4X from uh, from Italy. As you can tell, the signals are just huge. T2A from Belgium.
E7DX for Bosnia, Herzegovina. Let's see, one more. EA8RM. So, oops, sorry, I gotta get this a little wider. Um, sorry, I gotta turn that down. As you can tell, the, the uh, HF2V performs well. So far, I mean, I just got on and I've already got uh, about 40 countries. Um, the, the HF2V is my favorite antenna for a vertical. Uh, at 33 feet, small wind load. I've got 60 radials under it. As you can tell, S9 plus signals almost all the time. It's a great performing antenna. So if you're thinking of uh, an antenna for 40 meters and you've got limited space, uh, that HF2V is a real winner. So hope uh, the review's been uh, been good and uh, you could hear what it sounded like on the air and I get uh, replies first time around. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, take care. Enjoy.